On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, Layers in ProPresenter 5. The ChurchTechCast.com screencast show is generously provided for by viewers like you. Thank you. Head on over to Patreon.com slash Paul Allen Cliff. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Paul Allen Cliff. P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. And you can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Every little bit helps, so thank you for your generosity. Hi everyone, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, which is a lot easier to say and easier to remember than the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show, which I do on Fridays at the same time, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. UTC, um, during the summer at least. It changes because of that craziness. Anyway, <laughs> I'd love for you to add, um, join the conversation, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. You can find all my contact information there. I'm happy to answer your pro presenter questions, and uh, I just love interacting with you. So leave a message there, leave a message under this video, whether you're on YouTube or on my site, either way is fine. Uh, give me a call, one eight seven seven pod echo one eight seven 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 six three three two four six, or um, you can also drop me a line on email, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Any of those ways will work, as well as Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. So, one of the powerful things about ProPresenter is you can layer things on top of each other. But it might be a little confusing as to what goes where. In fact, what I thought went one place, apparently that doesn't go that way. So I uh, did a little experimenting right before I started this show, and I thought that I would show you exactly what I have learned. So let's get going on that. So here we are over in ProPresenter, and again, this is only part of my window, so the, uh, the video size is nice and small. So um, we have, of course, the preview over here. If I go down below where you can see, uh, actually, let me pull that up a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so I have the um, videos tab here. And that shows a background video, and I think I'm actually going to pause that because since I had to reinstall ProPresenter a couple of times in my troubleshooting, which you can watch last week's show to see the troubleshooting steps I took, um, I don't have any real media in here other than songs, but that's okay. So here we go. This is the first Noel, a nice public domain song. So uh, we can put that in there. Let me go ahead and clear everything, though. Um, actually, let's put the background back up. Okay, so the topmost layer in ProPresenter is the mask. And I could put that on there, but I think that really... Um, what I want to do is I want to go from back to forward. So let's look at the text of a song that's on one layer. Above that is the props. So I've got a prop here and I'm going to add that in. And so that actually says this is a prop and it's layered on top of the text. So keep that in mind as you're creating props that a prop goes above the text. Now I've got messages. I've got a countdown here. Let me go ahead and show the countdown. And the countdown in the messages goes above both the props and the text. This is where I had this backwards. I thought that uh, the, here, let's remove that so that it's more clear. See that the countdown here is above the prop layer. So, 
that's very important to know as you're formatting your slides that if you think that a prop will take over the entire screen and you have a countdown running, won't so much do that. But if you want to cover up both of those things, you can cover them all up with a mask. See how that did it? So the topmost layer of the ones that I've shown you is the mask. Here, I'm going to clear the mask. Followed by the message. Here, let me pull this back over. I had it over on the other side. And I'm going to uh, hide this message. And then the prop, I again, to show you that the prop is on top of the lyrics. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to clear the prop. And then we have lyrics and then we have the background. So you really have some thinking to do when it comes to do, doing this. Um, by the way, and I don't have a video on masks yet. There's been some discussion on environmental projection where you project over a large area. Um, ProPresenter makes that something that you can actually accomplish by the use of these masks. So imagine that instead of just a blank rectangle right here, because black is what isn't projected, although technically on an LCD projector it would be projecting like a navy blue, a very dark blue, because it doesn't necessarily cover that up, unlike a DLP projector, an LED panel, or uh, an LED backlit display. It just tries to change the LCD to the darkest color it can, which turns out to be a navy blue. But anyway, all that to say, so you have this blank area. So imagine that in your sanctuary, that is a window. Instead of projecting onto the window, you just cut that out. And when you cut that out, the projector does not project there. Everything else stays the same. So that's why you would use masks. And let me clear that mask. So you've got all these different layers, but you've got to think in layers when you're in ProPresenter. Uh, the foreground here can change at any time without the background changing. Okay. The, um, I also have the ability in ProPresenter that I can, here, um, if I would go to Edit Slide, I could put a video on top of um, the other things here. So here, let's see if I can find a video. Maybe I've got one in movies. Um, recently removed. Did some cleaning, so I may not have something. Well, I know what I can do. I can go to, I think it's in Documents, ProPresenter 5. No, that's not it. It is in Okay, now let's just put a picture there. So instead of a movie, I'm going to put in a picture. So going back to documents, I have that picture of the TARDIS right here. So basically, I can put this picture. And let's actually make that smaller, because I don't want it to
make this smaller. Right here. Okay. So what you can't see here, let me pull this over, is that here I have two layers. I have the text layer and I have the picture layer. Well, I can put this picture on top of the text because this is looking down from the top, top to bottom. Uh, so I've got that. The picture layer is on top. So really trying to, there we go. So I'm trying to make that smaller. So I'm going to make that smaller. This could just as easily be a video, remember. So I'm going to make this smaller. And then I've got the text layer. Underneath. So if I go to the text layer and I type something. I'm actually selecting that appropriately. Oh yeah, it's down here. Well, let's make that bigger. Let's turn that into, say, oh, come on, don't do this to me again. I think this is a bug. Okay, so if I were to put that there, notice that these change. Let me go back into edit this. Edit slide, where are you? Edit slide, there we go. Looked right past it. So if I select the text layer here and let's put that towards the top. Actually, let's put it smack dab in the middle. Make sure that it's white. Okay. So that is right there. Let's also center the text. Okay. So right now during editing, if I click on the picture layer, that's on top. If I click on the text layer, that's underneath. So you see how that could be a problem if you didn't if you thought that you were putting a permanent background there but in fact you had it as a foreground that could also be a bit of a problem so you'll see here that I have the picture on top of the text well I can also um, move that up a layer and once I do that the text goes on top of the picture so, see how that's a little more obvious. So, I have, in this situation, I have three layers, and the slide information layer, for lack of a better term, uh, what's normally just text, the lyrics, in this case, has both text and a picture, but you'll notice that that's only on this one slide. So this slide has both of those things. This one does not. So if I wanted that to continue, I would need to make that a background down here. But instead of this, I wanted it to be a background. I need to have it down here. A foreground is on the same layer as 
the text, they're kind of mutually exclusive, uh, unless you were to do it like this. Um, and in one of my other videos, I show you that this picture, this could be a PNG with transparency, so you could do some fun things like that, like lower thirds, or you could do animated lower thirds if, again, this on the Mac for uh, the Macintosh version of ProPresenter because of core graphics and uh, core video, which are built into the operating system. That's why they do this. You have the ability to put up a ProRes 4444 file. That's the codec that it's encoded in that has transparency in it. So you could have transparent moving lyrics right here. Do you see how cool that is? That that can be a lower third, that can be an upper third, that can be something in the middle, that could be just moving lyrics on top of this where uh, this background keeps moving like this. I'm going to pause it there just for performance sake because I'm screencasting, I'm recording, and I'm streaming and I'm using ProPresenter, and uh, this MacBook Pro doesn't like all those things. So, so I could have moving lyrics, I could have a click track against the, a click track m with the moving lyrics, so that you just start it, and it goes, and as long as the band stays on with the click track, you're fine. So you have a lot of flexibility with ProPresenter, and if you need to mask out things, remember to use the mask. If you need something persistent, you can put a prop up that stays persistent. So that would be great for like a bug or for a, uh, a message that you need to have persistent on the screen. Props, in this case I've got text, but it could be a still as well. I haven't actually tried video props, so that might be worth doing um, as well to try a video prop. So as you're creating your presentations, you need to keep in mind all the possibilities of what you can do just by changing the layers and tweaking things so that they do exactly what you want to do and so that you're not confused and wonder, huh, why is this on top of that? Well, remember that messages go on top of props and masks go on top of everything and the lyrics go on top of the backgrounds and as long as you remember that in order it is mask, message, prop, lyrics, background, that really should help you. So until next time, arg, someone keeps trying to reach me with Google Hangouts. So until next time, I hope you go out and change eternity. This is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.